Welcome to the second part of our wallframing tutorial. This section will focus on editing the wallframing, however it will only cover the specific commands for the wall panelling system. An accompanying video that looks at more general framing tools that can be used across the whole of our panelisation systems is also available. Our software has a range of framing accessories with their availability being customization dependent. These are exits from wall panels and framing accessories. Bracing for instance is added via double clicking the bracing type you want then selecting the panel you want to add it to. You are then prompted to select your first point which will always be the lowest point then up to the highest second point. BD will automatically put in the brace with relevant connections also added. A truss lintel type can also be added. Again double click and the parameters will come up. Here you can define the maximum word spacing as well as the orientation of these. Click OK, then choose the panel. Now just click in the space where you want to add the lintel to and it is added with connections. A new feature recently added is the ability to add in a 3D panel label. This is accessed from general arrangement. Double click the thumbnail, then choose the panel and confirm. Next add in two points with the direction determining which side of the panel the label is added to. Finally, extra profiles including backers, studs and blocking can be accessed from the studs folder. As an example, I will use blocking, but the others are added in a similar way. First, double click the thumbnail and select the panel. The system will automatically pick up the profile type as shown in the pop-up, however this can easily be changed using the select button. You can define placement, however with the profile going into a panel it's best to keep this as middle. Opening just controls which side the web is on, and there is a toggle option to automatically add connections. Click OK and now simply draw a line where the pieces are to be added to. Connections can then be added from beams and columns if applicable. This concludes the second part of our wall framing video series. Please see the video on panel drawings to finish the wall framing.